Um, it's a different, a different atmosphere right now, you know, the altitude and whatnot. So first few, uh, first few sessions, it was just about adjusting. But things are looking on the up and up right now, so I'm just trying to learn. That's it. Different age groups, you know, you can learn. Like with the vets, you know, they provide, you know, experience. So they're teaching us things that, you know, we didn't know. With the young guys, you know, you, I kind of you know from just the little stuff I know, I could, I could drop that off to them. You were a little bit up and down last year. You started off a little bit slow out of the gates, but you were very, very good towards the end of the year. Um, was that due to like injury stuff, or what? Or was it adjusting to life without Alfred Payton? What, what, what went into last season? Unfortunately, you know, I suffered an ankle injury early, so it kind of uh, set me back a lot. But once I once I uh, started getting into the halfway through the season, I kind of started getting back to myself. Unfortunately, you know, it was a little too late. Kind of hurt my numbers. But this year I'm looking forward to you know, just staying healthy and improving my game, my body, and just trying to make the best of this last year. What kind of NBA prospect are you? How do you think you should be viewed by NBA scouts? Um, offensively, a stretch four. You know, like I say, I'm working on my defense. And once I get there, I think, I think I'll move up from the five position to the four. And that's my goal. Because I know I'm not really a center. Any particular goals going into your last year? Um, of course, the main goal is to get to the NCAA tournament, you know. I've always put my team first, but after that, uh, just setting myself up to have a, a good pro career, and that's the only two goals I have in mind. Thanks so much. Appreciate it.